vlog part two of the paneer butter. <coughs> or I should say buttered paneer. So, in my kettle. Oops. Trying to get you closer and hit the kettle. I've got some ghee, um, clarified butter, or if you can't get that, just put you some butter in here. And then I've already prayed all that. Remember all of our yummy sauce? I'll let it cool for cool after it cooked for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water in this. Because I'm going to get some of this out. It's still in the... it up with a little bit of water. I never thought. I'm going to get a little bit more water. So, so far I've used about a cup and a half. And we're going to bring it back up to temperature. We're also going to put a little bit of heavy whipping cream in there. A good, almost a cup. And cubes. Now I had to get mine online, but if you can find um, an Indian market, they should have it. You can make your own too. And when I put that water in, I'm going to let it cook for at least five minutes. Five to ten. Kick some of that water out. And this is where you need to taste it and see if it needs. Um, at this point, I haven't added salt or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I want to eat some salt. Because I haven't added no salt. And then I'm going to add a little bit more tomato paste. Not a couple, ta couple tablespoons. That's what that means. That if it's not as good colorful as you like. It's good on all the other spices. I think I'm hiding me another 
third. Three or four tablespoons completely. Because I didn't have quite many tomatoes that the recipe called for cut up. I only had about three, and the recipe said six, so I'm substituting some of my tomato paste. Of course, my fresh tomatoes, since I didn't have enough on hand. And basically, <clears throat> you don't let this cook for about five to ten minutes and let your water cook down a little bit in here and your flavor isn't going to get blended. I'm going to taste this now and see if it's got enough tomato paste. Oh, I forgot one more ingredient. He said add a pinch of sugar to counteract the acid. So that's just a pinch of sugar. And when this is done, we're going to um, eat it on the side with some basmati rice and uh, some non bread. My rice ain't done yet. But there you have it. My version of paneer butter or butter paneer, however you want to say it. Now you can use this, the sauce recipe, and do chicken, um, butter chicken. Now when I do my chicken, I would put some of the extra spices on the chicken with a little bit of I cut my chicken up in cubes then I put some spices on it and turn it down a little bit because it's starting to sputter and then I put a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt in there I let it marinate um, for a few hours and then fry each chicken piece not till all the way done. And this, um, then put them on a the plate because you're going when you put it back in your sauce, you can finish cooking your chicken. But this is the paneer, and it's just like a cheese. Um, it's a vegetarian dish. I fell in love with it. I never knew what paneer was until I went to the Indian restaurant. So you do it how you want. With chicken or um, paneer. Man, this cheese doesn't melt. It just stays in whatever you cut it into, like cubes. And then when I um, get ready later on to eat it, um, I'm going to garnish some chopped cilantro over the top of each plate, too. So there you have it, my buttered paneer. I hope you like this recipe and tell me if you've ever ate it at an Indian restaurant. Um, it's got like the warming spices in it like curry and, and garam masala and stuff like that. So if you like that, then you're going to love this dish. See y'all on that next episode of Sim Sarah. Bye, everybody.